What's up, girlie? Welcome back to my channel. I'm actually getting ready to go grocery shopping at Meijer. It's been a while since I've been there, but they kind of got some products that Target has, that Target doesn't have, I mean. So, like, Target and Meijer are good for, like, their own different ways. But I'm getting ready to head out. I don't have too much to say. I didn't sleep too well last night, so I woke up, like, super late. It was also the time change, so maybe that just, like, messed with me. But I, like, kept getting up, and I was so sleepy. Like, I did not want to get up. I was just so unmotivated and had, like, really weird dreams. But... I'm going to head to Meijer now, and I'm just going to do, like, a little check-in whenever I feel like it. I just left Meijer. I got me one of my little drinkies, and I got a corn dog because I'm not really too hungry today. But I was still feeling a little snacky. I just, I'm leaving Meijer right now. It's so funny because people were like, oh, you don't go to Meijer anymore. Like, whenever I went to Target the other day on TikTok, it was, like, the top comment. But, um... That's not why I went to Meijer. People just need to understand that like Meijer and Target each have different things that they're good for. Like some things only Target has, some things only Meijer has. And that's okay, nothing wrong with it. I still like going to both, but I do prefer Target over Meijer because the environment is a lot friendlier. So, I mean, it's nothing against Meijer. Maybe that just has to do with like geographically like where I live that it's just friendlier to go to Target than Meijer. But, I mean, I don't mind. I'll go anywhere. Like, I don't care what other people think about me, but there are, like, more judgy people, I feel like, in Meijer compared to Target. Let me know if you feel that. But, as always, I got the Charay Lemonade Green Tea. So freaking good. I still have a few at home, but, um... I can only find the packs of those at Target. I never found them at Meijer. What's up, girly? I just left Ross and TJ Maxx. Sorry, I got gum in my mouth. I wanna do a little car haul. Those are like my favorite things to do, but also wanna explain why I didn't really feel like vlogging this morning. I was kind of in my feelings and I started to vlog and then I was like, let me just scratch that because a lot of people think I got scammed with my facial laser hair removal. And I understand maybe, look how cute this top is. <laughs> While we do the haul and talk about my feelings, I understand it was a lot and stuff. I think the thing that hurt me the most is not people thinking I got scammed because sure, I can't really help it if someone looks at me and like the things that I have and they're like, oh, well let's get him for the most money he's got. I almost don't know what to do in that situation. Like bargain, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to get into that. What just hurt me was people acting like, or people said that I don't do enough research about anything. I'm always just blowing through money. And yeah, it kind of might seem like that, especially after the Hilton Head thing, but that's everything I got at Raw. So let's go to TG Maxx. I got a lot more cute stuff there. I don't know. I'm still learning and I did look around for my laser thing. The only reason I went there is because I was recommended by a trans black woman. So people, I only bring that up because people were like, oh, it doesn't work when you're so light. It doesn't work when you're so dark. It doesn't work when you're ginger. The reason I went to this specific place is because it does work for those types of people. I have a blonde trans friend in another state. I don't think they went to the same exact place, but they do like the same exact stuff. And then I have this friend in my state. And so I really just took their word for it. Smell this candle. And so, I don't know, the fact you guys think that I just don't really understand kind of hurts my feelings. In a way, I don't really understand, and I am learning, so I get that. And I understand, like, a lot of people didn't mean anything bad from it. It's just, um, maybe the wording. That sometimes I'm sensitive, it, like, hurts my feelings. It doesn't, I don't know. I don't want to diminish anything. Look at this on the oil roller control. <laughs> We're doing this haul while having, like, the most awkward chat ever. But overall, I'm gonna move on. Like, I think it's fine. Maybe I will, like, just make sure I do the extra research and show you guys I'm doing the extra research beforehand so that way we're all on the same page. These are Juicy Couture socks. These are so cute. There's a black pair, a black and white stripe. So there's six pairs. So a stripe and, like, a plain pair for each color. And they all say Juicy Couture on the bottom. Those are, like, the cutest Juicy socks ever. We're just gonna move on from that whole situation. I don't know, I just kinda wanted to briefly bring it up, but like I said, I am learning, I'm growing, and I can't, I don't know, I feel like there's not much I can say. It's almost like a year from now, I kinda wanna reflect back on the person I've become because I know I am changing a lot, but that doesn't mean I don't get upset or I don't respond to things in the wrong way, because I definitely do sometimes. I just, I always think people are coming at me when that's just not the case. So let's move on. These are Juicy Couture shorts. Now, I feel like this is a little bit see-through, but it's for around the house anyway. Like you're not supposed to wear, like, really wear this out. Look how freaking cute this set is. 
I love that. And then I got one more set and that's everything that I got. I think I'm gonna go get some Arby's. I'm like craving some fast food that I haven't had in a while and Arby's is that girl. I got this satin set right here. I don't wanna be doing a haul for this guy. Some yellow card just pulled right in front of me. You probably see the yellow tint. It came with these shorts. I really like the fit of these shorts. I think they're so cute, but that's everything that I got from there. Let's go to Arby's and let's just move on. They might have scammed me, but at the end of the day, I'm getting permanent results. A lot of people were misunderstood. They were like, oh yeah, well my places do six sessions. Oh, and it doesn't work on blondes and like all this. Well, my place does seven to 10 sessions. It's a lifetime guarantee. So if anything ever pops up, I can go back there. And they said very specifically, they can laser any hair like that shows up against a white piece of paper. So if your hair can show up against a white piece of paper, they can laser it. It doesn't matter like if you're um, too light, doesn't matter if you're too dark. I don't know like what the factors are here. I don't know anything about anything, but that's just kind of what I've learned, I guess. I haven't learned a lot, but I did sit there for like an hour learning about their technology. I mean, of course they told me why they're better than other places. And I saw one comment that was like, every place is gonna say that. And I totally agree with that. Every place is gonna say that. So I think they scanned me. I don't know, they probably could have charged me less is is what you guys are, what I'm getting from you guys. They probably could have definitely charged me less, but I don't know, I really don't know. And the whole 50% off, a lot of people were like, oh, well, you said that was 50% off price. So like, was it originally supposed to be like 8,000? That's marketing, like it's never gonna be like that. Like they do that 50% off, they probably do that year round. And I totally kind of got that in the moment, like in the back of my head, but I don't know. Once again, let's move on. Let's go get some Arby's and we are, Never gonna talk about it ever again. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'm kind of just winging it. They have a mint chocolate shake. I have to get that. That sounds amazing. I just kind of wanted like a roast beef sandwich with cheese on it. I know that's like kind of odd bought, I feel like. Like kind of weird. Is that weird? I like it. A lot of people like it, you know? I don't think it's weird. I'm one of those people keeping Arby's in business, okay? I am one of those people. I don't know if I should get one or two sandwiches. If I get two, I might just go ahead and save one for later. Save one for later. <laughs> I've been listening to the new Ariana Grande album. I need to pause it because I'm still like learning it. I don't want to miss it. I haven't listened to every song yet, but so far I really like um, Supernatural is really good, but I don't really know a lot of them yet, so. Go ahead. Can I get two classic roast beef sandwiches, but can you add cheese on both of them? Do you want to slice the cheese or you want the melted cheese? The melted. Anything else today? Can I also get a five piece jalapeno bite? All right. A small curly fry and a what? large sweet tea. Sorry. All right. You're fine. Anything else? No, just the large sweet tea. All right. It'd be 17, 12. Okay. Thank you. I forgot about the shake, but I'm kind of glad I forgot about the shake because it's already $17. Was that a lot of food? Two sandwiches? two sides and a drink I guess dang it's really like just as cheap to DoorDash nowadays <laughs> genuinely but I don't know that guy also sounded cute when he said it was okay didn't you think that was kind of like uh, he said it was okay when I said I'm sorry let me use Apple Pay You never know what's going on, but it's just so random. It's like, where do I live, Gotham? Let me use Apple Pay. Thank you. And do you need any sauce? Um, can I get RB sauce? Thanks for asking, I almost forgot. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. She was really cute, but not the cute boy I was expecting. Oh god, not the cop trying to leave this area. Not the cop going out. Yeah, I'm not going out that way though, buddy. I'm going out this way. Hopefully you can go out this way. Legally? Is it legal? The way I came in, I think it, I think you can go out it. I right, well, I'll see you when I get home for a little eating. My Arby's. I need to fill up the fish tank. I can tell it's a little bit loud, but I'm not going to right now. I did eat that whole small fry on the way home. 
Dang, my little jalapeno thing spilt out. It smells so good. Anytime I have anything jalapeno, it kind of messes up my stomach, but... Jalapenos are so good. Like, what am I supposed to do? What is this Bronco Berry Sauce? What the heck is this? Is that for your jalapeno? And then I got two sandwiches. Now, I planned on one being for now, one being for later. That's why I got two. If I feel big hungry, I'll eat the other one now, or I'll, like, eat a piece of it now, or whatever I feel like doing. But let's get all this trash out of here. There is a few fries still left at the bottom. Ew, cat hair is stuck at the top of the bag already. <clears throat> All right, now there's none in there. Yeah, is this for your jalapeno stuff? Should I open it? I mean, I'm definitely not wasted without at least smelling it. Oh my gosh, it's like a jelly. Oh, it smells like sweet and sour sauce. That's what it smells like from um, like Chinese food. Mmm. I don't know if that's what this is for, but I would assume, and I'm just gonna try it. Might as well try a lot. Get a bit, big good taste for it. I think it tastes really good. I love them together. I hope that's what it's for or else I'd feel silly, but I'm pretty sure. What else would it be for? Mm. That is so good. And this little jelly sauce. What is it called? Bronco berry sauce. Arby's Bronco berry sauce. So good. It's like sweet and sour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We got the jalapeno and that bite. Mm-hmm. You can tell I like it because if it was just mid, I wouldn't be like dipping in it so much. I can already tell it's going to be, um, save that sandwich for later. I ate that small fry. I'm already getting full. can't believe I didn't get that shake. I'll have to try that one day. I love anything that's mint. Mint chocolate chip is my favorite. Now, normally, I order the cheddar and roast beef sandwich and I always have to substitute the bun for a sesame seed bun but this time I was like oh why don't I just order an original and add the cheese so I thought that was kind of smart to do it's like falling everywhere mm-hmm I think it can be hard being by yourself I'm constantly the one telling myself it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to learn from doing wrong or it's okay from, I don't know, just like small moments where I'm like, oh, that didn't go as planned, like it's okay, like give yourself grace. Like I have only me in this world, like I live alone, but I don't think you guys understand how truly alone I am. I see my mom every now and then, but that's literally it. So I just always had to pick myself up and I'm always just, using what I can to learn the most. I'm also a live in the moment type person, so I feel like as long as things are good right now, I'm okay and things are okay and it's gonna be okay. I'm watching all the Love is Blind seasons like going down, so I started at six, I did five, I just finished four, and I'm just now starting season three. But I wanna light this cute little candle, look at it. It literally smells like Fruit Loops. It smells so good, but I wanted you to be here for me. I like yeah, be here with me for this, just so I wasn't, like, low lighting it. It lit so easily. Oh, this ain't even good lighting. Okay, let's turn you around. Look at how awesome it is. I should just lit it like that. Is it going out? What the okay, no, no, no. Oh, yay, yay, yay. Okay, <laughs> it went back up. That was scary. That is so cute. So, yeah, you can see I'm on Love is Blind, season three, episode one. Let me know what you think is the best season. I mean, so far, obviously, I think season six is the best. And then I would say five and then four. Like literally in the order that I watched it, that's been my favorites so far. But I've heard that season one is really good. So I thought about just going to season one and then coming back. But no, I'm just going to keep going down. I only got three, two, and one left to go. Okay, look at it now. You see that one over there? How it's like breaking? I think that looks so cool. I wonder what it's going to look like once it's all melted. Like kind of rainbow all put together. I try to show you a little update. 
you know, whenever I say try, I just mean I gotta remember. But it looks so cute, it smells so good. You should definitely live in the moment and burn these type of candles. Don't just keep them like collecting dust on the shelf. I mean, if that's part of your decoration, then you know, definitely do it. But I think you should get like at least one to burn too. Also, this bowl is so cute that it comes in. I could easily clean it out and like reuse it. It's just so cool watching it melt. Ooh, let's get some top angle. So cute run to TJ Maxx and find you one of those. What's up girly, we're about to go thrifting, but I wanna show you the fit, cause it's pretty cute. So let's switch around to the mirror. I like it, I think it's cute. It's like gonna be 74 today, so perfect like outfit for thrifting. And I'm gonna put on my Adidas, which a lot of people are telling me that they don't like. Have I talked about that on here? On TikTok people are like saying that they don't like my Adidas. So, I mean, I don't really care about that cause I like them, but I think I might get like some white Nikes or something too. But another big thing, apparently they passed the law or the ban for TikTok today so that's a little scary just because like you know TikTok's so fun like everyone loves TikTok but let's sit down for a second they passed the bill for it which doesn't really affect me I mean it does because I obviously like make some money off TikTok and stuff but it's like it's not the only thing I do like I have YouTube Instagram Facebook so it's sad I don't I almost think like there's no way they're gonna like fully pass it it still has to go through like so much stuff but if they did, like, worse comes to worse, um, I don't know, like, I would still create the exact same content. Like, there's literally nothing changing about me. It would just suck to not have, um, TikTok to, I also be just scrolling on TikTok, like, I post on there, but I scroll on there, like, so much. I'm always, like, finding inspiration on there, and I love editing my videos on TikTok, so there's just, like, it would suck to see it go. And I know a lot of people I feel like are only on TikTok, like, I'm sure creators would start branching out immediately, but I kind of, like, started social media and was like, I want to be on every platform because I love scrolling every platform. It's just genuinely fun to me. But that's just my little take on that. Um, I saw some, like, comments, they're like, oh, the influencers are screaming, and I'm sure a lot are. And I mean, yeah, it does suck because obviously I get paid from it too, but it's not the end of the world as long as you're able to still focus on what you wanna do for the rest of your life. Like, you know, as long as you're still working on you, like being true to yourself, you can still do that stuff on other platforms. But hopefully it doesn't ever really go away. But let's just go thrifting. I was just like, it's a warm day, I'm feeling cute, so let's go to Indiana and go to the Vendors Village and the Peddler's Mall over there. They're playing loud music, so like, because of copyright, I gotta hurry, but look at this super cute thing I found so far, this like clock, and I wouldn't have gotten it, but it was $3 with like hats on it. It's giving vintage, it's pink, it's so cute. All right, I went to another thrift store. The only thing I found at that other one was the uh, clock I showed you and then Titanic on DVD, but look what I found at this one so far. I think that this is worth more than $30, but you know I collect like the OG, Barbie movie Barbies and this comes with the DVD and everything for only 30. I feel like that's way cheaper than it probably is online. I haven't checked yet, but I'm probably for sure gonna get that. But I literally just got here. I'm still in the first aisle. I'm back home really. I was about to edit this video and like post it and then I was like, oh wait, I never even ended it. So I just wanna show you a couple things real fast and then we'll go ahead and end it. But when I went thrifting just now, I did buy this Titanic DVD, and I've never seen the movie, but I kind of want to. Although, I'm going on a cruise in a couple months. I'm like, maybe it's not the best time. But I had gotten a mystery bag, and in that mystery bag, it had came with, like, this jewelry box. It came with these picture frames, and it came with these little baggies. And it also had a little bit of jewelry in here. Hang on, it's over here. It had just, like, this little watch. There it is, focus. It had that purple ring. Purple ring. It had like that little deer and it had this little house thing. Not everything in here, just like the stuff on top. It also had a heart bracelet, but I already put that in my jewelry box, so I don't even feel like going to it. But all those videos are on my TikTok and stuff, like it shouldn't be banned yet. Yeah, I think it takes like weeks for that stuff to go through, but hopefully that never happens. Not that I will be out of a job. People are like kind of ignorant when they think that. If you only post on one platform as a content creator, if you're only using TikTok, um, well, this is your sign to start using Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Like, I'm just gonna tell you all that's out there. But thank you so much for watching me. I love you so much. I'm growing as a person every single day. I feel like I read comments and it's just like eye-opener. It's just like I sit there for like a day or so just rethinking a lot about myself. So 
thank you so much for sticking with me, I guess, through the struggle as I am taking on this adventure being a full-time content creator. We're like three months in and it's been fun, but you know, now it's like my real life and so now it's getting real, getting real, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I love you so, 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 so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And the goal is to hit 100K before summer. We're like so, so close. We're like less than 25K away. So please like share this with your friends. Tell your grandma to subscribe. Like anyone subscribe. But thank you so much. And turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss these videos whenever I post at like random late hours. But I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for staying with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, girly.